Howdy everybody, Michael Master. Welcome to the Disney Dine and Review, your one-stop shop for everything food and foodie at Walt Disney World. This month on the review, we are, we're doing steak month. We're gonna go to four steakhouses or places that are known for steak, as well at the end of the month, I'm gonna do my top five, my top five favorite steaks on Walt Disney World property. This week, we are over at Wilderness Lodge and we are headed, we are headed right there, right there. We're headed to Artist Point. So why don't you come along with, and if this is your first time here, why don't you follow along as I do food reviews and trips and Disney and all the fun and travel, all that good stuff. Just hit that subscribe button down there and let's go on in. We have been seated here at Artist Point, as you can tell. Kind of this rustic look behind me. We'll go take a look at the whole restaurant here momentarily. But first, let's look at the menu. Let's go ahead and look at the menu here at Artist Point. First up, you have the appetizers. You have the ahi, tuni, tataki, the artisanal cheeses, the chartreuserie board, as well as the braised short rib, the venison tartare, and the steamed mussels there on the appetizers, ranging from $16 up to $19. As well, you have the salads, the romaine salad, the land green salad, and the smoked mushroom bisque, as well as a few wines there to, uh, to wet your whistle. Let's go over here. We're gonna skip the steaks for a moment and go to the entrees. We have the slow braised venison asoboco, as well as the, the schooner bay cedar plank. This is one of the highlights here at Cedar Point. As well, the petite aged buffalo strip loin, the buckwheat ravioli, the seared, seared diver sea scallops, as well as the half roast chicken and the wild halibut. All of those ranging, ranging from 30 up to $49. Now let's go to why we are here. We are here for the steaks, guys. We are here for the steaks, actually a steak. They have the filet mignon, a hanger steak, a Berkshire pork porterhouse and that 32 ounce aged bone-in ribeye which I have had before and is one of the reasons I am back here again is to try a different steak. I think we're gonna be trying that hanger steak which I have been told is a seasonal selection here at the artist point. As well when you order a steak you get your sides to come with it you get two of these sides you get the local mashed potatoes you get the crispy Brussels sprouts roasted cauliflower roasted peewee potatoes the macaroni and cheese and you can throw these enhancements on top of that steak there, whether it read the roasted bone marrow, the shard, chateau, chateau, chateau peppers. Why can't I say that correctly? The point raised blue cheese, the horseradish sauce, and the chimichurri. Along with at the bottom there, they do have what it looks like to be a prefix menu, a five course meal called the Taste of the Pacific. Well, what on that menu looks good to you? I, I We're obviously here for the steaks. I'm gonna decide between the filet mignon and the hanger steak, but what on that menu look good for e to you? If you've eaten here before, like what, what have you got in the past? I will say this, I'm a little disappointed because the ahi tuni, tuna, the ahi tuna, the ahi tuna is out for the night and, and I probably would have started my meal off with that. But it looks like we're gonna skip straight to the steak. So let's take a look around the restaurant and I'll order. And by the time I get back, we'll have a meal. Before I, before I got up and walked around, GP came over and talked to me, that's the manager here, and he actually told me this, by the time this airs, this menu will be a little bit dated, not too dated, a few updates and a few changes on it, but most of the staples that we've already talked about will still be on here. Uh, I went ahead and decided to order the hanger steak per a recommendation that it was gonna be a little bit more flavorful than the filet, and the filet would have been a little bit more a little bit sharper for presentation apparently, but I want the flavor, obviously. Bring you out some bread as well as some butter. And this is goat cheese. Underneath it is a raspberry sauce with grapes. So I am hungry and ready to chat down. I'm gonna try this out and let you know what I think of this whole little interesting concoction here. So the steak has come out. There it is, guys. I'm, I do wanna apologize for the dim light. It's really dim lit, dimly lit in here, but this is the steak. Um, the flank steak, as well as the mashed potatoes and the collard greens. I'll try to throw in some photos here. 
but I do want to correct one thing. It comes with one side, and I ordered the mashed potatoes. I had made a comment about wanting to try the collard, or the collard greens, the Brussels sprouts, um, as it's such a rarity for me to find good Brussels sprouts, and I always like to try them, but I didn't want to spend that money, and guess what? They just magically appeared. Sent over by, sent over by the mouse, I think. But this is the mill. Let's dig in. Let's see what it's all about. Let's give it a little bit of a taste. Dinner is over and let's look at the dessert menu. We have the almond butter cookies with the honey apricot milkshake, warm donuts, warm donuts with the uh, roasted banana anglaise and blooms. You also have the dark chocolate crumier and crumier, 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 yeah, cream, yeah, espresso lingonberry with the chocolate soup, uh, as well as the vanilla bean creme brulee, Florida peaches, matcha and gooseberry, cobbler, seasonal berries, and the forest berry ice cream. All those are components by by right by each other there. So whatever you see on one line comes with the dessert. All ranging from 10 to 13. You also have a cheese plate, tea and coffee, dessert wines, a couple of flights there, as well as signature cocktails down at the bottom. I will let you know this, I am plenty, plenty full and will not be taking in any extra dessert. Well, that was Artist Point. The steakhouse, the, I, I don't know if it, you'd really call it a steakhouse per se, but definitely a fine dining experience over here at Wilderness Lodge. Now, let's talk about Artist Point and let's talk about what do I think of Artist Point, everything that goes along with, and then we'll get to the steak at the end. First of all, staff here, amazing, like five out of five. So nice, everybody's nice, everybody was so friendly. It was great, it was really, really good. The staff here is amazing. Uh, like I said, I did get to speak to the manager because, I mean, he saw what I was doing and we, were t we talked about the menu changing and stuff like that. So he kind of helped me out there to let y'all know that there's a few small changes in the menu, but not, nothing, nothing major. Um, just a few additions and maybe one subtraction and some resorting basically is what's going on. So that was great to, to kind of get that info. Everybody does, can know, does know, will know, will know about all of that. Um, what did I think overall in the food? The food here is really good. I'll tell you this, I didn't order the Brussels sprouts, so that got brought out, and I'll tell you what, some of the best Brussels sprouts I've ever had. I, I don't know, maybe all of a sudden I like Brussels sprouts. I, is this possible that I really like Brussels sprouts now? Um, I will say that I've probably had Brussels sprouts somewhere in the nature of 10 times in the last five years, and I've liked them three times. So I don't like them every time that I try them. If they have that aftertaste or that Brussels sprout, whatever with it, I'm not a fan. Um, the mashed potatoes were amazing. Really cr like creamy and then there was like bits of, mashed, bits of potato in there too. So it was like creamy, creamy, and then the potato. I enjoyed the bread as well. The bread was, was quality bread. Nothing, I mean it's bread, so. But it was good bread, nonetheless. So let's get to the most important thing and why we're all here and why we're having steak month. And that's the steak here at Artist Point. Now here's the deal with the steak at Artist Point. I've had two steaks here. I've eaten here one other time about a year and a half ago and shared that great big 32 ounce ribeye. Wow, it was quite the steak and quite the enjoyable experience. And I'll tell you, and at that point, it was my favorite steak on property was that 32 ounce ribeye. Now, fast forward a year and a half forward, we're coming back to Artist Point and checking it out for steak month and checking it out for for an, another steak and that's the hanger steak which is new to the menu and I will I, I'm gonna echo something that I echoed a few years back and I will tell you this as I said two years ago they are a year and a half ago they are really liberal with the salt here and I kind of think that was my issue with the steak that was my only issue with the steak it was juicy it was cooked correctly Everything else was amazing about the steak. It was just a little bit on the salty side for me. 
So when I take these two steaks together, I'm definitely gonna keep this on a list and probably high on a list of places to go eat steaks here at Walt Disney World. But today's steak was just good, not great. And the first time I came here, it was great. Like it was amazing. It was an amazing steak. So I definitely think this is a place that you should consider when you're thinking about steaks at Walt Disney World. Here at Artist Point, they do them well. And I'll tell you what, if you, if you're, if you like your little extra salt with your steaks, I think that's the case here. They're a little heavy with the salt, but the steaks are really cooked well. So that was Artist Point over here at the Wilderness Lodge. What do I think? Where's my rating on Wilderness Lodge? Because they're so friendly over here. The atmosphere is so calm and chill and the food is really, really good to great, depending on what you're ordering, depending on the time you come, I think. But I've always had a really good experience here. Like I said, I actually like the Brussels sprouts. So with all that said, I'm giving this place a 4.5. 4.5, 4 4.5Ms. So definitely check out Artist Point over here at Wilderness Lodge. If you're ever just looking for something new, different, chill, calm, get away from it. Come to Art Artist Point over here. I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it. That is just about gonna do it from Artist Point. I hope you've enjoyed this show and if you have, definitely hit that like, hit that big thumbs up down there, hit that big thumbs up and let me know that you like it. Hey, if you didn't like it, hit me, give me the sarcastic thumbs up, tell me in the comments and let me know, hey, this is what's going on. If you have a steak place that you enjoy at Walt Disney World, why don't you let me know down in the comments or if you've been to Artist Point, what have you ordered, what have you eaten? Help everybody out, else out that might come to eat here. Guys, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you've enjoyed this week's edition of the Disney Dining Review. I will see you next week, guys. Till then, thank you for your time. Here's to life.